Well howdy folks, Captain Kent here, back with some going medieval, and let's jump right in it. In the last episode I got hit with some Thor's hammer, thunderstorms, uh, well, lightning storms. The thunder doesn't do any damage, the lightning is what does damage, and it, uh, yeah, it crushed my, uh, it crushed right through the ceiling here, and uh, took out some of my uh, stockpile, and workstations and whatnot so I uh, I started dismantling all the wooden floors and replacing them with the clay brick and uh, I think it looks a little bit better and it definitely has a lot more hit points over here on the ground I threw down some tiles here and uh, the wooden floors only have 50 hit points whereas the stone and clay brick ones have uh, 200 so um, I, uh, I replaced it all except for like where uh, like beds are sitting and everything. If I uh, replace the floor, anything sitting on top of it collapses and uh, uh, is destroyed. So uh, the remaining wooden planks here I'll replace at a later date. And uh, possibly uh, if it ever gets damaged, then I'll replace it. But uh, I went ahead and set up a little room right here so we can start accepting some more settlers. So uh, that will give us three more settlers that we could take in. Uh, we're currently at 17 settlers and uh, so that will give us uh, three more and we can get up to 20. Uh, no other changes here other than uh, a little bit of a correction from what some statements I was making about temperatures inside my uh, my furnace room here. Uh, I had said in the last episode there's absolutely no difference in temperature and, and although that's mostly true it's not completely true there is a little bit of a difference even though I don't I don't have anything going right now but when I had three of them going here the temperatures in here were about five degrees hotter than what they were outside so like right now it's showing 78 degrees uh, and 73 degrees uh, it just jumped to 76.6 outside and 81 degrees inside um, and that is with the windows open and that's with nothing going uh, but when I had three of them going uh, it was showing the same thing about a five degree temperature difference uh, not a big deal not uh, not that big of a deal I am kind of curious though and I probably will test it some more by closing all these windows on this floor and seeing if that has any effect on the temperatures I don't think it will though um, all right, well, let's keep moving. Um, I went ahead and, uh, uh, oh yeah, the clay brick all the way down there and then replaced the uh, wooden ceiling that I had uh, with clay brick as well. And then set up this right here for our next transition, which is moving the kilns indoors. So uh, let's plot two of them, oh, two of them right there. And we're going to put two of them there. Sweet. Build it for me, folks. Thank you very much. We can go ahead and start covering this as well. Hopefully. Yeah. Shouldn't have uh, any issues with um, stability. I should, uh, the center two tiles here should be a stability of two. Uh, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope if I've done my uh, calculations correctly. And then once that is all up and running, uh, let's see. I wish that I could still copy these uh, with my production queue intact so that when uh, I copy this one, it just, uh, yeah, makes it again for me. That would be pretty freaking awesome. All right, let's go 400 on uh, the clay bricks and let me set this up for all the uh, all the kilns okay well we got the uh, production set up to make 400 clay bricks and we got uh, quite a bit of dead space here in the middle 
I don't know, maybe uh, maybe storage or something uh, can go in there. Um, I'm not going to set up another stockpile like I did right below here. You know, I've got uh, I've got all this clay down here, and uh, they can they can go down one flight of stairs and grab their material and bring it up, maybe, or maybe I will. Yeah, yeah. Let's put a couple stockpiles up here of uh, of clay. Uh, how about? Right there and right there. Let's clear those, clear those. I want these to be uh, high priority. I think I've got the ones below down, uh, down below set up for medium. Yeah. So uh, yeah, they'll fill up these little small ones first. And, uh, let's get the material and I want clay. Yes, just clay. Nothing but clay in there. Wonderful. All right, and uh, do I want to put a um, a little bit of a coal stockpile? Nah, not yet. Maybe later. Uh, let's see. Any other uh, changes? Oh yeah, I added a little bit more crop fields uh, in in this little section here. That's some barley there, and uh, yeah. Even, uh, even a little, oh, I, uh, yeah, 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 get, uh, yeah, even a little bit of, uh, decorations inside on these, uh, little entrance ways. Oh, yeah, do, I really don't like how that camera jumps up and down, uh, as I'm scrolling around on the map. Yeah, and a little bit more decoration, uh, farming going on there. Something I've started to notice, and this is happening. Uh, a little more often than I like. Um, here I've got a lot of uh, idle settlers. Well, I've got two actually. But I've also got this stuff just sitting out here. And as you can tell by the hit points, it's been sitting out here for a little while. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've got storage space still available. Like, yeah, right here. They could be taking... Uh, that cabbage down here yeah but uh, I was noticing that with um, with a bunch of the the red current and when I was playing uh, off-camera uh, setting this up and everything there was a lot of red current just sitting around and nobody was uh, doing anything about it it just sat out there and it was gonna rot until I uh, you know forced them to put it in the stockpile uh, so let's see. Let's uh, let's grab an idle person and uh, tell them to take that to uh, take it away, man. And let's have them. All right, no empty slots spot on the stockpile. Okay. All right. So let's go down there and fix that little problem. Try to find uh, some empty shelves that are just sitting here empty and say hey you know what go ahead and put some carrots in there I think that would be a fabulous idea and I want you guys go ahead and put some carrots right there too since uh, apparently that might have been the problem um, maybe I don't know what the deal was with the cabbage though could have been me uh, all me all me just not understand what the heck's going on. Hey, I can uh, go ahead and start uh, dismantling this stuff here. Nice. I like to dismantle those things. Um, go ahead and stay there for now, Cole. Because uh, I still got my smokehouse right there. And yeah, I got to do something with the smokehouse. So how about uh, we do it right here? Uh, sure why not uh, let's see how it looks and let's do oh we'll do limestone and sure why not one there and flip us around and one there because I do like the symmetry 
Hey, mushroom, how you doing? Come on into my belly. Or we'll start with you coming into my inventory stockpile. And then eventually in one of my melt brains' belly, I see the mushrooms. I'm going to grab those mushrooms right there and there and there. And that one too. Mushy, mush, mushroom. All right. Uh, come on, smokehouse. And I can go ahead and dismantle that. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring some coal up here. Some coal stockpiles or something like that. Hey, got a raid. Got a raid. Got a uh, archer, one archer, and seven more archers. All right. They send in a lot of archers at us this time. Okay, I gotta remember to come back uh, to the smokehouse and, um, uh, yeah, set up a coal pile. I'll, uh, I'll probably forget that. Uh, all right, let's grab these melt brains and we'll bring them up there and let's grab those melt brains and let's bring them up there. Uh, this is kind of a crappy little defense thing that I set up here until I have my main building uh, a little bit more uh, finalized in defenses. Uh, I'm close. I'm close to being there, but I'm not quite, quite there to abandon all this out here. Uh, okay, uh, where are they coming from? Um, okay... I might, uh, I might need to, uh, where, where are they going? All right, they are coming this way, aren't they? Yeah, they gotta be. All right, let's, uh, all right, let's get the trees out of the way. Get these guys a little bit closer to the edges. Oh, buddy, come on. Why? Oh, because I'm highlighting the, uh, <clears throat> the floor tile and not not the villager or settler I guess they aren't villagers in this game don't let them get up top yeah I don't uh, the way these things have been working or not working a trap misfire and stuff like that yeah. uh, okay cool got the raid done um, all right guys uh, clean up the mess please pretty please very good very good hey uh, here's an interesting fact about Mogata one of our first settlers that we ever got. Um, where is it? Where is it? Cannibal. He's a freaking cannibal. Uh, I had noticed this quite a while ago, but uh, I just keep forgetting to bring it up while I'm recording. But uh, as far as I know, he is uh, the only cannibal um, in the tribe. I don't... Yeah. I, it's been a while since I looked through everybody. Um outgoing hey he's a great sport and always setting up bouts games and sing-alongs what a jolly soul yeah these are pretty interesting uh these little uh perks and things like that uh i don't think that it's worth deciding on keeping or uh, uh expelling a settler but uh but it's kind of fun and entertaining to look at uh yeah with the with the cannibal the cannibal of uh mogata um i have not tried feeding him uh you know any human meat or anything like that and i don't know i probably will never do it but i thought it was interesting and maybe someday i'll play around with it and do it all right let's uh let's head back over here and figure out something to a uh, placement for coal um, and then also yeah come on guys uh, crank the speed all the way up hey let's um, who needs uh, yeah uh, this stuff Wilhelm I think is our um, medicine man 
No, maybe not. Who who's our medicine man? I uh, is it Sylvester? No, it's Wilhelm. All right, Wilhelm's got his medicine up already to twenty-two. Let's uh, let's work on those skills a little bit more. Um, apply some bandages, please. Ooh, yeah. You are a quick doctor, even though that, that work failed, it looks like. Uh, are you going to try again? I thought I saw a little message of medicine failed or something. I don't know. It popped up too quick, and I uh, kind of missed it. All right, never mind. Well, no, it did work because uh, uh, my settler no longer needs um, attention. Okay, let's set this production up until we have okay 60 um now nah, we'll do 75 how about that come on build it olive 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 don't know how to say that person's name sorry about that person I, uh, I, yeah, 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 my, me and my pronunciations is not very good. Okay, another stockpile, we'll do a double stockpile there, and a double stockpile there. Clear it. Clear it. Oh, yeah, you guys really wanted to start storing some stuff there. Yeah, I need to get some more, um... Uh, weapon racks to uh, store some of my clothes. I've uh, I've got a surplus of winter clothes, and uh, a lot of times they just let them sit around on their uh, on the floor. But uh, yeah, all right. Let's uh, let's get back to doing what I was doing, and that is setting this up for coal. All right, coal stockpiles there and there. Um, I don't think I really need to tell these to uh, only use coal because it will be the closest thing uh, set to them. So we can, uh, uh, come on, yeah, we can dismantle that. Actually, we can dismantle this whole thing. So let's, uh, let's bring the, the roof in view, all buildings, all everything. Um, be gone you yeah that thing's been there forever uh, getting close getting close to the big transition being complete of uh, having the village out here uh, into the gully into the gully we've gone all right let's uh, let's put some more roof tiles on here oh might as well just take it all the way to uh, that little section there oh it looks like I missed a little bit right there on top of the wall very nice very good and I don't think I'm gonna take this little back door front door whatever door uh, up a second level I think I'll add like some doors right here and then this can be like a defense uh, a defensive platform and the same thing with this little front door back door uh, little penis extension thing uh, yeah um, yep 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 all right let's take a look at beer and ale um, I I'm I'm thinking about going ahead and taking down uh, these two. Well, it looks like they're starting to brew something on this one. Hmm. Yeah, that's because I need to. I I want to get into the research, and I might as well just go ahead and unlock it. Uh, the distilling. I want. I want to get this up and going. Hmm. But 
I do want to keep my uh, my beer and ale production up. I don't know. Let me look at this for a little bit and uh, see what's what. See if I can't find a, a better place for um, for that. I might have to do something about uh, getting a place for them to set up uh, winter clothing because I can't get them to move uh, this stuff out of the way. Hmm. Let's take a look down in this room now that I've got a whole bunch of furnaces going. Uh, let's see. Outside temp or it's saying the temperature 60. Well, it's changing. Uh, with every hour that goes by 60 degrees 59.9 and 57 55 yeah yeah come on now I think we can all agree that uh, this is working just absolutely fantastically is that even a real word fantastically if not it is now I just made it up uh, yeah, that's that's freaking awesome. So, all right, uh, and then I can go ahead and uh, yeah, give me a floor section. Um, start a little uh, little platform out right there. You know what? Let's go ahead and take it all the way. And if I decide once I see it I don't like it, I can take it down. Plus I think it would be better to be up one level um, to this level of ground right here as opposed to this level right here is on level with it. Um, okay, yeah, we can move on from that. I got it. I, uh, I got to do something about the uh, the winter clothes just laying there. So let me find a place for them to store that stuff. How about in here? Yeah, build that and I'll have them set winter clothes up. Well, yeah, I might as well just do it on both of them. I was going to have uh, winter clothes on one and summer clothes on the other, kind of like how I've got here and in everybody's room. All right, winter clothing and do the same over here. Winter clothing and uh, winter cap. Uh, this is set up to be medium. Did that do the trick over here? It sure did. Hippity hop hop hooray. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and put the uh, spirit distillery up here. Uh, what is it? Oh, it's three wide. Or three deep. Cool. Alright. Uh lots of room for them to work with uh, f all that all that tile right there pretty groovy pretty groovy well while they're building that I can go back into here oh heat wave bring it on heat wave and just for craps and giggles um, sure why not let's unlock that one and then if I want to unlock any of the others, uh, I'm going to have to go back into uh, my, uh, my library area. And let's uh, set up until we have 30. There we go. I haven't had uh, my folks doing research in quite some time. Quite a long time. Now, I might still eventually take these uh, these two brewing stations down one and two uh, and then shift my uh, spirit distillery down there but uh, for now I'll, uh, I'll keep it here 
that's okay we'll keep it here for now and let's do uh sure 50 why not and um that's just this just blows me away uh that mushrooms is a possible ingredient beets and carrots and cabbage i mean i understand barley and red currant you know not so much red currant but barley i definitely understand but um yeah oh well um if they want to drink mushroom alcohol then they uh they can do that i suppose all right 50 there and uh, don't know what I'm going to do with this remaining space right here. Not sure. Or all of this remaining space right here. It looks like a great place to start building an army. Hey, Mushroom. I see you hiding out there in that field out there in the open in front of everybody so everybody can see you and pick you. Well, I was really hoping we would take on another settler during this recording and start filling up these beds. Or uh, possibly I could just start focusing on giving everybody their own bedroom and split this room in two. I could split this room in two as well. Hmm. And then we would be full again with no extra beds and I'd have to make some bedrooms up here. Alright, well I think I am at a stage now that I just need to stare at this and do some more work offline and get some bedroom set up perhaps yeah I think so so uh, folks I'm gonna wrap it up this will be a little bit shorter uh, than than my normals I think um, but hey everybody I thank you for joining me I hope I get to see you in the next one and uh, take care everybody hope you're having a super great day see ya bye bye <laughs>